Hello, this is Zephyr and I'm here to bring you another photography video. All right, this time we're going to review um, the best zoom lens that I've got. So, um, in previous video, which I'll link below, um, I was using the 70-300 AF lens uh, designed for crop cameras. And while that was a decent lens, I kind of wanted something with a bit more reach. Um, so I was having a look to see what I could get. And some of them I know you do have to have like a large lens for. But I noticed there was this one uh, available, and this one is still hand-holdable, so you can actually still use this uh, going out and about, um, quite easy to carry. And uh, yeah, this is a Nikkor 70 to 300 mil. It's f 4.5 to 5.6. It's a VR lens, and it is a telephoto zoom lens. So in terms of the price, you can get this for about 240 pounds. Um, may even be a little bit cheaper when you watch this video. So this is a full frame lens and if you were to put this on a crop camera like I do um, you can actually get an even further focal distance so because of the crop factor um, with this one I am actually getting a usable focal length of between 105 and 450. That's pretty cool. Yeah this is a cool little zoom lens so you twist twist it to zoom out and pull back to zoom in. Um, I do have a polarizing filter on the end there. Filter size is 67. So it's kind of large but not, not as large as some lens. But yeah, the polarizer does help especially in bright day out situations. It means I can still get some really great shots. Get a nice blue sky in the background. So in terms of this lens, um, it is a really high quality lens does have the really good uh, stabilization you can turn on as well as uh, so you can turn on and off there's also an active and normal mode as well for you do the stabilization um, obviously make sure you turn it off if you're using a tripod and the it will drain the battery faster as well when it is turned on so just be mindful of that but it will help you get steadier shots and most importantly steadier videos as well which is pretty good um, so what is this good for well it's really good for wildlife, especially things that are like far away, so you can have like birds of prey in the sky, uh, could be like birds far away, maybe flying away, that kind of thing. Um, you can also use it for uh, airplanes as well, airplanes in the sky. Uh, I've even got to shoot the moon with it as well, so I do recommend it for that as well. Um, but yeah, this is a really cool lens. If you have a crop sensor camera, and you want to kind of get quite a bit of reach but maybe not something too heavy then this is probably a good halfway house um, obviously there are lenses with more reach but those do tend to be at least like three or four times heavier so you have to have like a, either a tripod or some big big carrying case to actually take you with you anyway but this one is still hand holdable so you can chuck it in the bag so you'll be able to carry stuff and yeah have a, have a good time with it um, so yeah I use it for trips and things and I've got some really good shots I will put some shots into the video now so you can have a look through and see um, what you think of those ones that I've taken with this lens and uh, yeah um, in terms of the quality of the lens this is fantastic so it is a full frame lens um, obviously great if you've got a crop sensor camera still pretty good on a full frame as well it can still get a pretty good reach and it is really high quality lens as well I think this is like one of my most favorite lenses and it is the best zoom lens I've ever used I do love this lens very much it is really good um, so I would give it a solid 9 out of 10. It is a really good lens and I do recommend it. Um, Alright, thanks for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, please do like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, check me out for some more photography content. In the meantime, take care and catch you next time. Bye bye.